If you're looking for the best selection of crawfish on this side of Louisiana, the Louisiana Crawfish Hut is the place to go. Our seafood selection will make you go home completely satisfied with our dishes, such as our oyster louis and hut platter. Not to mention desserts that will cure your sweet tooth craving. The Louisiana Crawfish Hut offers any type of atmosphere you're looking for, whether day or night, seven days a week with the best service you will find around. Come in and watch your favorite team on any of our 16 TVs. The Louisiana Crawfish Hut, located off Highway 90 in Crosby, offering the best that Louisiana has to offer here in Texas. Lady Deer softball team began their defense of last year's state championship against their former district foe in the Doby Lady Longhorns this past Friday at San Jacinto College. Their starting pitcher Peyton McBride struck out the side to begin the game. Lady Deer didn't waste any time getting on the board in the bottom half of the first inning. With one out, Elena Tinker goes deep for the third time this year to make it an early one to nothing Deer Park lead. Bottom of the second, Deer Park would add to that lead with two outs and Haley Harrison at the plate. She goes opposite field to drive in Kennedy Dillow from second base. And Harrison ends up at third with an RBI triple to make it two to nothing, Lady Deer. Doby would finally get on the board in the top half of the third after a two out RBI triple themselves. And with a tying run at third, senior second baseman Lexi Fryer comes up the huge play to end the threat and keep the lead at two to one, heading to the bottom half of the third. How does Fryer get rewarded for a great play to end the top of the inning? She blasts a home run to lead off the bottom of the third to put the Lady Deer back in front by two at three to one. It's Fryer's sixth home run of the season. I just wanted to lead off and get our team going again. I wasn't expecting a home run, but the best comes out of it. That's not all the scoring they would have in that inning. With two outs and a runner at first base, the nine-hole hitter Devin Hebert plays long ball again for Deer Park, their third of the game, and Hebert's first home run of the season makes it 5-1 to one Deer Park after three. Bottom of the fourth now after a one-out stand-up triple from Caitlin Plocek, Rhonda Jarvis would get into the hit column that would score Plocek, and the Lady Deer would be up 6-1. to one. With two on and two outs, the starting pitcher McBride would deliver a two-out, two-run single into right field to extend the lead to 8-1 after the fourth. Doby would cut the lead to 8-3, but a base running mistake would end their threat going to the bottom half of the fifth inning, and once again, Deer Park would have another answer for the Lady Longhorns. It's not an easy out, so when they got bases loaded and got us out of that, they got, they got out of the jam, I was like, wow. But you know what, the kids didn't change their momentum, they just hung with it. And that's what we do, that's the nice thing, is they always come back. After Haley Harrison let off the inning with a bunt single, Rhonda Jarvis would drive her in with a two-out RBI double to make it 9-3 to three Deer Park. In the bottom of the sixth, the Lady Deer were ready to get home early and start celebrating a first-round win. With the bases loaded and one out, Harrison clears the bases with a three-run double to make it 12-3. to three. Harrison would finish the game three for five at the plate with four RBIs. After her, Elena Tinker would double Harrison home from second to end the game in the sixth inning on a run roll as the Lady Deer would win their first round matchup against Doby, 13-3 in six innings. Back to the starting pitcher for the Lady Deer, Peyton McBride. The freshman in her first ever playoff start goes the distance inside the circle going six innings, giving up only four hits and three runs while only having two walks and striking out eight hitters on the night. Nervous, like I knew my team was behind me no matter what happened or if anything bad happened with me and I knew I was going to be out strong. I knew my team was behind me the whole time, so I wasn't really, there's no nerves with me at all. Had, had lights out, just a great game. You know, the balls were moving around real well um, and you know, she just kept hitting the ball too. I mean, she was hitting her spots real well. So I think the only one missed pitch was that rise that didn't rise and that one went to the outfield. And that, I mean, not bad for a freshman, one, one missed pitch the whole night. So we're real pleased with this. I knew that it didn't matter how many runs I scored, that my team was going to be behind me, and they were going to be scoring runs for me, and I was going to contribute to it too. And Bryant improves her record on the season now to 17-2 and overall, while Deer Park's record goes to 31-4. and Next up in round two for the Lady Deer will be Fort Bend Bush. For the Legacy Sports Network, I'm Chase Hernandez.